you know how it is. Like, I was like, man, I don't know if I want to go to another team and start over and do all mm. that. And then, like, you, you get, like, this weird, like, nervous. Like, I, I was in between, like, nervous and excited, like, right in between there. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't know. I'll think about it. Literally, a month later, Aaron Rodgers calls me. He gets to talking to me. I'm like, I don't know. We'll see. Then my agent hits me up about Green Bay. And literally, I would say between three or four days, Green Bay called maybe like three days in a row. Aaron Rodgers called one more time. Next thing you know, I'm on my flight to Green Bay, 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, that, at that time, they had just uh, acquired Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham was there, one of my good friends. After that, man, I ended up going to Green Bay and playing five years there. And it was like a resurgence for me. And it was almost, I felt like Green Bay had drafted me. Like I felt more love playing there and winning games and just the energy and the people. Like I felt like I was a, a rookie all over again and uh, really re-energized me and, and brought my love back for the game. And uh, here I am now, man. I'm, I'm just uh, excited and, and, and living in, and part of my purpose right now. Yeah, I see the Green Bay art in the back right there. You're still repping it. But you were, like you said, you were there for five seasons. What was it like playing with Aaron Rodgers? And do you still have a relationship with him now? Yeah, that's my guy. He uh, put it like this. Obviously, like being in Jacksonville, like when I first got there, um, it was like Dave Garrard was really my quarterback for maybe, what, five or six, a five or six year span. Mm -hmm. Um and other than that, we were just drafting guys. Cause we our record wasn't good, so we would always get like, you know, top five draft picks at quarterback, and couldn't get any uh, chemistry going and stuff like that. So to be in Green Bay, it was the first time that I'd ever played with a quarterback that was a franchise guy that um, understood the game from a different vantage point that I understood the game from. And being able to be in a huddle with a guy like that knowing that, you know, every time we step on the field, we got a chance to score points and, and actually win the game. And just being in a huddle with him and and witnessing how he uh, views the game and how he manipulates defenses. And uh, I'll never forget that. It's like, it was almost like a movie every time we were out there. Like, it was, uh, it was special. And, you know, we built our relationship just based on how we compete how we lead and, um, you know, I, I feel like I'm one of the very few that understands him. And yeah, man, we, uh, you know, I got to see him before training camp this summer. And we, yeah, good we, we also had Devontae Adams on here a couple of weeks ago. What was it like playing with him? Devontae, one of my best friends. That's my guy. That's what I'm telling you. Like when you play this game, man, like it, it, it's, it sucks, but like your value is based on, how you go about your business on the field, right? So, like, right. you're, you're going to meet good dudes, right, on your team, but your value is really how you compete and how you compete in practice and how you show up in games. And, like, that's how you really gravitate towards certain players on the team, and that's how me and Devontae work. And we just, we just see the game the same and the way we prepare and break down film and uh, – you know, compete to want to be the best at what we're doing or whatever we're asked to do. Um, yeah, and we ended up, you know, I'm either he's at my house or I'm at his house every day. We watch him film, hanging out, chilling. Um, you know, obviously the best receiver in the game in my eyes, but I um, agree. We absolutely hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more from us, Hit that subscribe button for all videos, full episodes, and exclusive content from the show. And don't forget to find all facts, no breaks, on Apple, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts.